Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 11 of the 2018 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we are looking for a percentage. We see that right here, and we see that all of our answer selections are percents. So when we're dealing with proportionalities, we know that we are going to be given two out of these three items. We're going to be given a part, we're going to be given a whole or the total, and we're going to be given uh, the percent. We'll be given two of those and we are looking for the third. In this case, we know we are looking for that third, for that percent. So what do we know about this problem? Well, yesterday we have 170 guests uh, called for room service. I'm going to say 170 called. And 255 did not call. So 255 not call. What percentage of the guests at this hotel called? All right, so we're looking for the percentage of the guests that called. I already know what the part is, so take a look at this right here. My part is going to be 170 because we're looking for this unit right here, the percentage of guests that called for room service, and we already know that 170 called for room service. So it seems like it might be a really simple problem off the bat, but we don't know the whole. This, 255, that's not the whole. That's just the amount of guests that did not call. So we have a, a simple fraction here, but we don't know the denominator yet. In order to get the whole, we're going to have to do one simple problem, but it is an extra step. We have to actually add 170 and 255 because 170 called, 255 did not call. And let's see if we add those together, how many total guests we have. There we go. So we've got 425 total guests. So that's my total. So I'm going to use that as my denominator. So what I can say is I could say 170 called out of 425 total. Now that gives me a really good fraction and it's going to be pretty simple to go from that into a percent. It's a two-step process. So first we need to change to a decimal. So we're going to divide up. That means we're going to take our denominator, divide that into our numerator. Now it's not going to fit but that is why it's going to turn into a decimal. 425 does not go into 170, so we're going to put a 0 there, and that's perfectly fine. We're going to bring down our 170, but we're going to make sure to put our decimal here. It goes there. We can add as many zeros after the decimal as we want. So now let's bring that down. Well, I'm going to guesstimate about 4, because 4 times 400 is 1,600, so that should fit into 1700 there. And so that is going to be 20. Let's carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Add that 2 back in is 10. And then 4 times 4 is 16. Add that 117. Actually, look at that. It fits perfectly. So we don't have any remainder. We don't have to add any more zeros. So we divide up. And so that's just going to equal 4. Four tenths. Now, second step is we have a decimal. So that's how you change a fraction to a decimal. You can always divide up. Next, to change from a decimal to percent, because we're looking for a percent right there, we're going to move the decimal point two times to the right. And so we're going to take 0 0.4, and we're going to add two zeros, or we're going to add two decimal places over there. We're going to put a zero there where that blank was. Drop the zero. Let's put a percent sign. And four-tenths is equal to 40%. Let's 